YNW Melly's life inside of jail has been far from easy. From being denied bail several times, to now having his visitation privileges taken away from him for 90 days, for him flexing a Gucci headband and Gucci shoes during an online visitation, here's the life of YNW Melly within jail awaiting his trial to start. So as of right now, YNW Melly's court case is the biggest in the rap world. Law enforcement believe that YNW Melly is responsible for the passing of his two best friends, YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. When YNW Melly was first originally arrested, he ended up having his first appearance to the public while behind bars in a very heartwarming way. Now these photos of YNW Melly, they were released after an interview with DJ Academics while behind bars. Now YNW Melly looks to be in great spirits. He's flexing his diamond grills. He's on the jail phone with as much minutes as he wants. He's having a good time. Now he ended up doing an interview with DJ Academics while on the jail phone. DJ Academics then stated the following from their interview and I quote, I spoke with YNW Melly today on the phone. He confidently told me I'm coming home in 2021. And not only that, but Academics also said and I quote, he sang me three songs that he wrote while in jail and he said he made an entire new album in there. He can't wait for everyone to hear. He said most of his fans' favorite songs he made while in jail, so he's used to it. Now this was the first interview that YNW Melly had while behind bars. Now sadly, there's not too much time left in 2021 and YNW Melly is still behind bars and was actually denied bail once again. But YNW Melly's second appearance to the public was in these photos with him being in a courtroom. Now YNW Melly is seen with YNW Bortland sitting in the chairs awaiting for their turn to speak with a judge. Now in these photos YNW Melly looks very confident in his court case. And during the hearing YNW Melly and his lawyer actually asked the judge for bond until the trial starts. Now YNW Melly was sadly denied bond, but the most concerning thing of it all was that YNW Bortland was granted bond and to be released. Now this proves that the law enforcement has some very serious evidence on YNW Melly. Now this all happened due to law enforcement showing evidence of YNW Melly having a video recording on his cell phone of him admitting to doing the act towards Juvie and Sack Chaser. Now the law enforcement in court stated, and I quote, Then also, we have a video of Mr. Demons admitting to doing an act towards two individuals in the head. Now I had to change a few of those words in that statement, but you probably understand at what I'm trying to say. Now in the next document it states, and I quote, this video on Mr. Demon's cell phone, which was brought onto my office by Jameson Francis, and that is how we had that. And that was all of the evidence that your honor has. Now obviously that is not a court hearing that YNW Melly was expecting to have. But this now leads us into his last appearance by YNW Melly. Now this was around one month ago where YNW Melly released his newest album and while doing the promotion run for it, YNW Melly ended up getting himself into a bit of trouble within jail. Now YNW Melly ended up releasing this photo of him wearing a Gucci headband and Gucci shoes while in jail. I have no idea how he got that within jail, but he ended up getting it. He also posted a caption on the photo saying, and I quote, To all of my fans, I love y'all and I truly appreciate y'all. The Broward County Main Jail Lieutenant had confiscated my Gucci shoes and my Gucci sock headband due to the promotion video that I posted for my album in just a matter of slime last Friday. 
They have also now taken my visitation privileges for 90 days and I cannot interact with my family and fans throughout video visit. But the risk was worth it. It went number one, they can take my shoes and socks and visitation, but they can't take back that number one away. I did it for y'all. Now, YNW Melly did a crazy thing by having a promotion video with him behind bars during a video visitation list. This required him flexing Gucci shoes, Gucci socks, and headbands, but in the process, it costed him three months of not being able to have video visitation with family. But it also helped his album go number one in the world, so I guess there's pros and cons to each side. Now, it's important to know what law enforcement believes happened on the night Juvian Sack Chaser Pass. Now, on the day it ended up happening, at a recording studio, YNW Melly was alongside Juvi, Sack Chaser, and Bortland around 3.30 a.m. When their recording session was over, they ended up hopping into their Jeep and they started heading home. Now while taking a back road home to skip the early morning traffic, YNW Bortland who was driving the vehicle on that night, ended up pulling the vehicle over. So while law enforcement are still trying to figure out what actually happened inside of the vehicle, the theory is that once the car was pulled over, a distraction was made to catch Juvie and Sack Chaser off guard. Now this would help then YNW Melly do the act towards both of them within the vehicle. Now after the act was done, the theory is the Jeep was then brought into a side parking lot where nobody was in sight and nobody could hear a firearm being used. This is when YNW Melly and Bortland would then rough up their vehicle, kind of making it appear as if a drive-by happened, which was in the end, them pretty much walking in a 360 motion, using a firearm towards their own vehicle. This in the end would help Melly and Bortland have an excuse for this happening, when they would bring Sack Chaser and Juvie to get medical attention. Now law enforcement has been gathering evidence for this case for a very long time now. The number one question then why YNW Melly is still in jail is because instead of calling an ambulance for immediate medical attention for their two best friends, YNW Melly would rather wait 40 minutes and then drive them to the hospital himself. It's just a very weird situation, but YNW Melly is still sticking to his side of the story saying a drive-by occurred and maybe they were just total surprise and they couldn't really do anything for that certain time frame, so that's why they drove him to the hospital themselves. We still don't know, but if we do end up finding out, I'll let you know. Anyways, it's been District Trending and amending the video here. I'm out. Peace.